Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope Mess Tom, and today we will be continuing my Glossier series by doing some first impressions. I have never used these products before, anything from this brand, so it's all going to be an experience. Um, this is my first time recording for my return to YouTube, but um, it's not the first one you'll see, so excuse the awkwardness that may occur. Um, we're in a different part of my room than we used to be. Um, a Peloton, a wall that's falling apart, part of my brand. I haven't said this in a really long time, but let's fuck it up, fuck it up! Oh, Okay, so I have all the products. They're still in their boxes. My intention with this first impression is to put the products on my face the way the brand has intended them to go on my face. So I will do what the box says, and if the box doesn't say anything, I will go to their website and see what they suggest as far as application. I'm a little bit worried, so we're going to have to apply everything with our hands, which I'm not super into, because that's gross. We're going to do complexion first, which is not what I normally do, but considering we don't have eyeshadow to work with, and it's just like a gloss, I don't think we need to do face, don't need to... I don't think we need to do our eyes first. So I have the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. Uh, I've never put makeup on to that video. So this case. Here it is, the bottle. Um, I'm trying to be less delusional about the shade that I am, so it should match. Fingers crossed. It might be too late, but um, we can always fix that. We can always warm it up a bit. Okay. Shake, then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips. Bend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant dewiness. Now, I'm aware that I'm an oily person, so this product most likely won't be for me, but also maybe it will be for me because if I put it on and it looks good and I sweat, I sweat, like I'm greasy. And if I'm just like greasy at the start of the day, then I thought I'm right there. No worries. About me being breezy later on in the day. Does that make any fun? Oh, it Anyway, do some shake. I have moisturized. I use the My Shell Oil Free Grapefruit Moisturizer. I'll put a picture of it up here for you and in the description box below so you can see that. I just washed my face. I just came back from spin class with my friend. It's a great skin class. Skin. I was thinking skin to said spin class, skin class. Just like the shark tape shape. This is like, this is the applicator for the Rizzo pump, so. All right, so I'm just gonna put it on my fingers. I don't know how much to put on. Okay, this is a very different product for me. Inward and outward. Did I rub too much? I need a towel. Okay, I have a towel. Let's, we're gonna be using our hands like we're in finger peeling. I'm not the state of my hands, but it's the middle of winter and she's not been kind. So now that I have done just like half my face, I can see that it um, has some coverage, it's very sheer. So like, I have redness on both sides of my face and you can still see here and it is reduced here. Is this buildable? Um, normally I take my foundation through my beard, but I'm gonna do like a little bit because like there's redness like right underneath my hair right here. But I normally use a brush or a beauty blender and don't worry, I will be testing this with a brush or a beauty blender because, um, because we cannot be using our fingers like this all the time. 
I don't see a huge difference. I'm assuming that I did get the right shade. This is shade G11, so it's one shade darker than the lighter shade. Because um, I'm very pale. It's winter, remember. It's winter. So, okay, what I like about it and what I hate about it are the same thing. So that's kind of invisible. So my thought is, if it's not, you can't see it really, when it fades or like if it breaks up, it's not going to be an issue because there wasn't much there. I don't know if I put not enough on, put too much on, so we will, we'll see. I still feel like I'm very red. Um, I was hoping maybe it would like conceal a little bit more of my redness. So I wouldn't have to like, worry about that. Um, but it does look very natural. Okay, I'm gonna put some more on where I'm red. And I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be using concealer, but I don't, I'm gonna put some more in here. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what I did to this finger, but it looks gnarly, doesn't it? I think it was a brush burn on my hand. Um, putting on a shoe. Because that's, I guess, the life I'm living. I'm 28 now, so I'm falling apart. So next I'm going to use the Glossier Stretch Concealer. As I have already told you, this concealer is manipulatively expensive. And this is in the shade G12. I got a shade lighter. I typically use concealer to highlight. So we're gonna be doing like a T-zone situation with this guy. And let's see what she said to do. Use fingertip to press and blend into moisturized skin. It's buildable for more, oh, buildable and for more coverage. Considering that the skin tint is very sheer, I don't know how deep I'm gonna be able to go with this concealer, like how ham, how buildable. We're gonna make her my back hurt. This back has been, oh my god. So, so I'm gonna start with my under eye. So I think you're supposed to like circle. So for those of you who used to watch my channel, I was using Fenty in the shade 200 because that was my summer shade in the middle of winter. It is no longer. That's no longer the case. I'm no longer 200. But I was still using that foundation. And now I have a 140. It's a fancy. That. I'm liking this concealer. I could see me using this concealer on a day where I don't want to put on makeup, but that guy's looking a little sad. I'm gonna just put something here. Because I normally do that with my concealer. That concealer is nice. So there is a powder, but we won't be powdering until after I do two more things because those both are like gel-based products and we'll get into those in a second. So I'm gonna do the cloud paint next. And let me tell you, I'm very scared of this. Uh, I heard a little goes a long way, so I'm gonna like abide by that. And I'm glad I know that going in because I've been loving some blush moments. I'm like loving some blush. I've been like really into blush. I uh, put way too much of it on the to it, but um, I've been feeling the blush. Okay, so where's your instructions? Because honey, she gonna need them. Okay, for best results, apply with fingertips. Now, we're not being very specific about like which fingertips to use. Uh, I would highly suggest for concealer under your eyes or around the eye area where the skin is very sensitive and light to just do it with your ring finger. You can apply the least amount of pressure. You don't want to break things like this, so you still want to look cute. It is what it is, so. I have this shade, this is the shade Puff, and it was like the most bossy color because I wasn't sure what I was doing. And I was like, I'm not about to get. Also, I want to wear these products to work, and I don't want to be wearing like the most makeup to work, if that makes sense. So if I'm gonna wear a blush to work out, I'm gonna be like, 
chill blush. Like a chill blush. Okay, gently squeeze tiny dot onto finger and then blend on the cheek. Add more as you wish. I have an idea for a look with this if it performs the way you think it will. Now, I'm about to be brave, so this. I was told maybe to poke a needle through this and then to not take that gel part off. I mean, sorry, that little foil off because it, a, a, a lot of product comes out, so I'm gonna try to be like gentle. Okay. Oh, yeah, that seems like it. Okay. I have it on my finger. Go smile and then just blend it out. Okay. <sighs> When you're being smart, buy that. That's a whole like ten dollars of product that just came out on me. Wow, 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 we wow. Okay. Now, try to even this out. Okay, so what I am liking a about this stuff. It's because it's kind of sheer. Oh god, there's so much blush. Um, it does blend out really easily. And it's, this is, um, this blush is like building pretty nicely. That's not what I wanted to do with the blush, but like, here we are. I'm gonna say user error on that one. But, like, look at how much product I wasted. So, be careful if you do purchase the cloud paint. This one, this product is gonna be like, it's gonna be, she's gonna be, so it's gonna be a learning curve with her. So, so next we have the Haloscope, which is their highlighter. Do effect highlight, highlighter. Wait, that's not how it's French. I was like saying highlighter as if it was French. I got the color quartz. So, there's this dot. Can you, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can you see that dot? That's like some sort of oil. I read that on their website. I don't understand. I don't want that. I want stuff around that for highlight. Highlight too, but in French it's I think when you I say voile. I hundred percent said that wrong. But listen, we're gonna be talking ingredients soon and it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be cute. Okay. Glide on the cheek and brow bones, blend with fingertips to light your face. Do you want to drag that on my face? Why don't you Emily Glossier, you got me fucked up. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay, let's see. Let's see. That's gonna dry. Is there anything happening? Okay, there it is. Jesus. Cause that is okay, so I'm gonna I feel like I've got way too much on. Oh, good blonde in that end. Holy shit. That's like on my cheek. Not just above the cheekbone. Ha! Under the brow. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do some up here. Now, it's, I can't tell if it's lifting this kick dent or not. Or. Is that cute off the camera? Can you see that? It's actually really cute. It's very... It's, she's looking dewy. This will be a telltale sign if it comes off. Okay. I never need to highlight my nose because she gonna be shiny. She gonna be shiny anyway. Now I think that took the concealer off just a little bit. Bummer. Okay. So I'm gonna do this cheek the way I would normally like apply a product like this. I'm gonna take my ring finger, as I've been doing with every product, and pat it on. Kind of reducing the possibility of like a lift stitch. And like allowing me a little bit more control than like putting the stick on my face. I feel like I'm just starting to look sweaty. <laughs> but 
but I also look crazy because I have so much blush on my face. So much blush. Okay. I, need to. Hmm. I guess I just I hmm. I thought there was any more pigment to this. Not like a ton, but like something. To me it just looks like I put um, Pat McGrath has this product that I own, the Skin Fetish. Um, they come in the little tubes. Um, very similar. There's a, two sides. There's the balm, and then like the balm you put on, and then you put like a powder highlight on, and then it like enhances. But then there's the other side that has like a, like a color to it. And I thought it was more like that. It isn't. So let's move on to the louder. Okay. Get fresh into mesh, then gently tap the side of jar to remove some excess powder. Sweep over face to reduce shine and set makeup. Okay. My brush is dirty. I knew this was happening today, but I'm acting like I didn't. Yes, okay. I don't think that that little bit of blush that's on this brush is gonna do me any problems. Okay. okay. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Wow. There's so much. The louder. I'm saying wow a lot. Okay. Wow. <laughs> It says it's matte, not flat. I usually use a beauty sponge when I'm setting powder to the mesh. Now, okay. Oh, this has a shade. This is the shade G1112. I use setting powder, and they normally bake with it. Not like baking, like I don't put like layers and layers on, but I like do other things while I have it on my um, face, and then like wipe it off later. So like just like setting. Um, I will say it, it did change the dewiness of my face. So like on the right side here, where I have all the highlight on. Like, I can see that it took away some of that shine. So that's, um, we're gonna have to avoid that in the future. I do sometimes do, like, a product like that Haloscope After Powder, so we will, we will try that in the future, because I should have looked up an order of operations for this, but I did not Now I'm moving on to eyes. I'm gonna start with Lidstar. I got the color Moon, because to me it sounded like it would be a similar color to the Fenty Gloss Bomb, the original Fenty Gloss. And I love that shit. Because I put it on my eyes, put it wherever. I love that shit so much. Um, I, this is very pretty in the bottle. What, where the fuck am I supposed to put this on my desk, Glossier? Upside down? That doesn't make any sense. Because I want the product to be on the thingy. The, the applicator. Okay, so. Dab onto lid, blend with fingertip. Again, I'm gonna use my ring finger. Uh. This is Delta Ball. Can I play more? Can I play more? Because it's very pretty. But it's kind of, like I realize blending it out is like something you need to do. But I don't know that this is gonna be picking up on camera really. Okay, I can see it in the mirror. It looks more like sweat or grease in the mirror than it looks in this the close-up. So hello. How are you? Okay, let's do the other one. Mind frame, hopefully. I'm gonna since I put two applications. I really think it's gonna make a difference. The 
lashes look a little less crazy, but I think that might have been from the powder. So it's good to know. Tom, always undo. Edit undo. Command Z. The command. Well, I have you in here. Let me do the lash slick. I'm gonna bring my face back in. Am I in focus? Probably not. Hi. Okay, so this is their mascara. The lash slick is their mascara. It's a film form mascara. So I used to work at European Wax Center, and girl, we did not like the word film uh, because you do not put anything film based on your skin. On that, my now, in the lights here, it looks like this white, but it's like this beautiful millennial pink. Okay, let's see what we got here. That's the wand. Okay. There you go. I don't think I've ever had you this close to my face. I'm very uncomfortable. Do you want to come closer? Hi. How you doing? Are there fibers in this? Or is that my eyelash that just popped off? I'm gonna take a spoolie. Just uh Why is that one lash just like so long and different than the others? I didn't read how to apply this shit. Comb through lashes, roots. I'm not about this. Um, especially for like an everyday, just like I'm just trying to make sure you can see my lashes. I like this. I would like to use. We'll see how it wears. I'm not like gonna be the best at reviewing mascara. I don't feel like I ask a lot out of my mascara. Um, so, like, don't be mad whenever I'm like, it did its job. I don't really have issues with like, but like, if I notice, I will see something. See something? Say something. Uh, excuse me. Here we are. We're at it. Time for boy brow. Now, I will say, product is very small. I thought I got the sample size. But this is the full size. This is the boy brow. Here she is. So, boy brow, I got brown. So it's clear, brown, blonde, dark brown? I don't know. Editing Tom. There you go. That's the last shade. Okay, so apply in short, upward, and outward strokes and to flat brows into desired shade. Okay. Just wanna stop for a second. Um my brows have been on a journey, so I'm like kind of into a more natural brow. I am not sure how much I benefit from this having pigment to it. But I do like, at least right now, the way it's holding my, like, my right brow. I like the way it looks. So it's like the one that doesn't, this doesn't have any brow, brow, boy, boy, brow. Brow boy. <laughs> boy brow. This one doesn't have any boy brow. Boy brow. Okay, there is a difference. Because at first I was like, what's happening? Nothing. Okay. Let's do the other eye. Okay, I see why you're popular, boy brow. I wonder. So I have full brows. Yes, it is. So. Um, brow products are more like more or less fun for me. Uh, it's not something that I normally need, I would say. I do like it because I think it gives you a finished look when you fill in your brows. I don't think it's something I would necessarily have to do. I just need to keep them shaped. So I like this. I don't think I need it in brown. I think if I, I think I could have it. But that's like just a first impression. We'll see. We'll see. I don't have a clear one to compare it to. So I'm gonna zoom you back out. Does anyone remember that Ariana Grande song? No, not even Ariana Grande remembers that song. Now I have a lipstick. This is the Generation G. I got the color 
Red, okay, so I'm gonna use your now. Oops, sorry. Okay, what color did I get? I got the color like. I thought that words on the bottom, those words on the bottom were didn't drink. But that's the shape. Like, you have the packaging. The packaging. Yeah, the color is like. Oh. I don't remember this being the color of Probably is. I think because it said sheer, I was like, okay, we're gonna need like to get something that will show up. Alright. Is anything happening? <laughs> Swipe on the lips for a smooth sheer wash of color. It is sheer. <laughs> I don't know if putting more on is helping. <laughs> Weird consistency. Maybe it is like good consistency for like regular lipstick. Like. So, okay. My thoughts on this. I think I have it on. Maybe. Um. Are. So when I think of like a sheer lipstick, I think of something that has pigment, which this may or may not have. I cannot. I don't see it. Okay, but when I think of a sheer lipstick, I think of something like lustrous. So it's sheer and it's gonna be shiny, and I think it, in my head it's gonna be like unmoisturizing. Like it's gonna feel moist. It's gonna feel. I'm not gonna feel like I have to go. Grab the bag. Are you matte liquid lipstick on? You know. You know. Uh, 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 you know. So the idea that this like be matte sheer and not like, uh, like lustrous and sheer is a strange concept to me. I don't know that I want a matte sheer lipstick. One more swipe. Like maybe something will happen. Anything happening? Let's just, let's do some final thoughts on this first impression. I do not like this lipstick. I cannot see a world in a month from now where I'm going to like this lipstick. P.S. It is Monday, February 18th. I will continue to try these products until March 18th, and then I will report back to you. I will try them a million different ways. I'm gonna make them try to work them for me. Uh, I will give you my best practices. I will be taking notes when I put the makeup on every day. Let you know, like, this works, this doesn't, I like this product, but this product, like, I have not a primer today, but maybe a primer would make me feel some type, different way. I'm into the boy brow, which is great because it is their, like, their best selling product, and wouldn't that have been a disappointment? I don't know if this is a product that would be for everyone, but I do really like the boy brow. It's a lid star. I'm sure. I like it in theory. I wish. It was. I'm oops. An oops more, like a like, little bit more. Now, maybe I didn't buy the right shade, but I also wonder if there were pigment in the cloth that I wouldn't mind as much. However, I have used other eye glasses before, and this, I don't feel it on my lid, but it is there, and I don't think that this is gonna be something that like creases up throughout the day, but like that's gonna be a whole other thing. I'm gonna be testing these all day. Um, I'm gonna report back to you, maybe not in the setting, maybe like on an iPhone video, just like popping into like. Say hello. So then I have this lash slick. I'm into this. I like this mascara. I think my lashes look really good. I have I have blessed natural lashes that are pretty long and pretty cute. So I think this works for me. I can see if you have little stubby lashes. It's my only thing, but I don't curl my lashes either, so I like this. Telescope. It it does like do highlighting things, but I don't know that it's gonna do like the highlighting things that I want to do. No, I'm well aware that this is like not supposed to be like, oh my god, this highlight's popping, but like 
It just looks like I sweat a little. A cloud paint. Uh, ooh. I like it now, but when I was putting it on, I was like, I'm uh, sure. I feel like we're settled and we understand our relationship with each other. So, we'll see. But I think I can use some other stuff on this, which maybe not intended. Maybe, uh, uh, the skin tint. I think we're gonna, her and I are gonna be on a journey. I felt like when I first went on, I didn't notice that anything happened. Then I put more on and it did like cover up a little bit. But like at first I felt like, but as I put a little more on, so I, I'm feeling this. I didn't do this on purpose, but like the last two products are my favorite two that I tried today. So the stretch concealer, I like a lot. I think it's like the perfect everyday concealer. I don't have too much to cover up for a non glam day. Like this is like a crab and goat concealer. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited to keep using this product on. Like actually I'm very excited. Oh my god, it's been very excited to keep using this product. I like this a lot. It's fucked up how much it costs. Finally I have the powder. I know I have it all in boxes, but as I said earlier, I had to put back the boxes again. I like the powder. I, as I said, I mostly use powder to bake. I'm gonna try baking with this, so we'll see where that takes us. But I know that's not the intent of the product since they said to apply it with like a fluffy brush, which I did, and I think it did what it's supposed to. Like I did see it before, I did see it after. Did you? All right, that wraps up this first impressions video of Glossy. Yeah, a full play, some, a full play, a few, a few, a few, do. Full play. <laughs> <laughs> If you use Glossier and you have a product that you love, or if you saw me using something, you're like, maybe if you try it this way, you like it. I would love to hear about it because I want to make these products work for me. I want to report back to you what worked for me, what didn't, and why I did it, and actually give you a reason. So I'm going to give these a run through. It is, as I said, Monday, February 18th. It is Monday, February 18th. I will <laughs> see you again on the 18th of March. Well, maybe I won't be recording that day, but after the 18th of March, I'll give you best practices, what it worked, what didn't. As you know, I'm an always good person, so like, this is like overall off brand for me. Like, I'm all mad every day, except for lipstick, which, <laughs> this generation G, I'm gonna be coming for you the whole time, okay? Because I don't understand. I still don't think that it looks like I, it just made my lips look mad. As I said, let me know box below. If you like this, subscribe, maybe tell your friends about it. That's cool, whatever or not. If you like me, I'm on social media. You can find it all linked in that box down below. And cool, I would love to have you follow me or not, whatever. No pressure. I'm not about that. I also have a RuPaul's Drag Race podcast. So if you like RuPaul's Drag Race and you like podcasts, I have that. It's If Bears Are Peeing. I do that with my good Judy Tiffany. Please check that out. We are a budding podcast and we enjoy doing it. We have quite a few episodes already available. So if you head there, there's a whole, if you've missed me, there you find me because there's a whole year's worth of podcasts for you to listen to. Isn't that nice? Isn't that fun? Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Did I say anything at the end of my videos? Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Goodbye. No, I don't. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, crap. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll talk goodbye. See you later. Bye.